In this video and the next one, I'm going to show you how you can use generating functions to solve recursive equations. Uh, as a particular example, I'm just going to take the Chebyshev polynomials. So if you're not sure what those are, it's really simple. It's just t0 is 2, t1 is x, and then t n plus 2 is x t n plus 1 minus t n. We're going to use generating functions to explicitly solve this, which it winds up it's going to be that tm of x is sum from n equals 0 to 4 of m over 2, negative 1 to the n, m over m minus n, m minus n choose n, and x to the n minus uh, this formula actually isn't very well known. Most people just know the recursive property for it or whatever, but you can't actually write down explicitly what the Chevy Chef polynomials are. And there it is. If you want to know kind of what, why are people interested in this, well, as far as the definition, the simplest one is just that if you do TM of Two cosine theta, the two is just so that the polynomial winds up being monic. Tm of two cosine theta is two cosine m theta. So let's check this, this works right quick. If m is zero, this is just two, so sure enough, t zero is just two. If m is one, this is two cosine theta, so sure enough. If I plug 2 cosine theta into x, I get 2 cosine theta. And then as far as this recursion right here, it comes from the difference formula for cosine, or the sum formula, I guess. So cosine A plus cosine B is 2 uh, cosine A minus B over 2 cosine A plus B over 2. And I ran out of room, but anyway, I don't want to work, I don't want to take that and get that, but that's where these come from. They're also useful, like in approximations, like sometimes if you take test points to be zeros of Chevy Chef polynomials, rather than taking them to be equally spaced, then you can get better approximations for less work. Uh, they also come up in knot theory and a few other places. So, anyway, if you want to know more about them, there's plenty of places to find out about them. But all we're going to do in this video is say, hey, if I start with this recursion, how do I use generating functions to solve it? So, the first thing is, well, what is a generating function? Well, if I have any sequence, And this could be a sequence of numbers, or in our case, it's a sequence of polynomials, or it could be other functions, or it could be operators, or anything. Uh, the generating function is you just write down a formal power series. So, let's call it A of T. It is supposed to be sum from 0 to infinity of AM t to the n. This is actually what's called the ordinary generating function. There's also an exponential one where you do a n t to the n over n factorial. These two are particularly important in combinatorics because then multiplication and composition and all of your other operations on these functions kind of have specific combinatorial implications. So as far as that goes, you can put pretty much any thing you want there. I mean, you could put exponentials or sine and cosine or just whatever it makes. You just want to put all of these 
elements in your sequence together to make one big thing. This is all I'll do. All right, so we're going to do this for our Chevy Chef guys, and then we're going to, in this video, we're going to explicitly compute what this sum is equal to. And then the next video, again, we'll break out, we'll reverse engineer it and get what the individual coefficients are. So, all right, let's keep going on that. So again, we have uh, T0 is 2, T1 is X, uh, T n plus 2 is X, T n plus 1 minus And my generating function, well, I'm going to say t is going to be summed from 0 to infinity of tn of x t to the n. So this t is actually a t of x and t is two variables. Well, I'm just going to start with my little generating, or my recurrence formula here. And throw some t's into it. Since I've got n minus n plus 2 here, I'm going to multiply both sides by t to the n plus 2. So t to the n plus 2, t n plus 2, is going to be, well, this one really only wants t to the n plus 1 on it. So I'm going to put t n plus 1, t to the n plus 1. And then I'm going to put the extra t on the outside. So I'm going to go x minus t times all that. So all together, I'm still just multiplying this guy by t to the n plus 2. Same thing, this guy really only wants t to the n. So I'm going to break off the extra t squared and then have t to the n, or tn, and then t to the n. It's too many t's. It's a little hard to find. All right, so all I've done so far is multiply by t to the n plus 2. Now I'm going to sum this thing from 0 to infinity. Every term. Well, this first one, I've got t. If I put n equals 0, I have t2 times t squared. Then n equals 1, I've got t3 times t cubed. Then t4 times t to the fourth. It's really just this series I started with. The only difference is the smallest number I'm getting here is 2. I'm missing the first two terms in this series when I sum this one. So what I'm going to get out, I'm going to get my big T, but I'm going to loop, I need to subtract off the first two terms that I'm missing. So T minus 2, and then minus X times T. So I just get my series I want, but minus the first two terms, because they're going to Same thing happens on this one. Well, when n is 0, this starts at 1. So I'm just going to get this series I want, except I'm missing the first one. So I've got xt times my big T that I want minus the first one, which is 2. And then when I sum this last one, well, n is starting at 0. I'm supposed to start at 0. So this one really is just the yeah, add one. So plus. Right, plus. Uh, t squared. Now I just do simple algebra to get t by itself. So I've got this side is xt times t minus 2xt minus t squared t. If I move these two guys to the other side, and move those two to this side. I've got uh, all together t minus x t t and then plus t squared t. That's everything that has a t in it on one side. The other side, move these two guys over. So 2 plus x t minus 2 x t minus. Uh, this one already had two. Right uh, this is why you should never do algebra in public. All right, so we've got 
I just factor out my t here, I've got 1 minus x t plus t squared. t is 2, those two combined together to be minus x t. And divide by this guy. I wish I had a little bit more space, but I don't. So I get t is actually 2 minus x t over 1 minus x t. So that is the generating function for the Shelby Shelby Shelby. So again, this is sum of Tn. So in the next video, I'll show you how to use like the geometric series and stuff like the binomial theorem, stuff like that, to take this and break it down select the powers of t on it, and so you actually get that explicit formula for the